everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farns Ward. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin with the drought tonight. The State Water Board will vote tomorrow to renew and even increase emergency regulations. News Channel 3's Victoria Sanchez joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tori, you found out this will force residents to cut back their water use even more. And it will here in Santa Barbara. The residents have been doing a lot better than the rest of the state when it comes to saving water. But the state still wants to tighten those water rules. You'd like to see Santa Barbara beautiful, but sometimes you just can't do everything you want to do, you know. It's because of the water shortage. It is bad. Donald and Mary Woodring are doing their part to cut back on water use. That means letting their lawn die and getting more drought tolerant plants. And it's a concept that's been gaining ground in their neighborhood. Some people are conserving by not watering their lawn at all, like here at this house on the Mesa. The residents tell me they're letting the dandelions and anything else come up in place of the grass. Although Santa Barbara averages about a 22% conservation rate, the rest of the state isn't as high, saving only 8.8% in January. So the State Water Resources Control Board is stepping in with some new rules. One of those regulations is a days per week regulation on how many days per week you can be watering your landscape. If passed, people would only be able to water their yards twice a week. And depending on the city you live in, there could be limited hours. Another rule that could be carried over from current water restrictions, penalties for water waste, up to $500 per offense. If there is excessive irrigation so that it's running off the property, a broken sprinkler, etc., we call it waste of water. For Juanita Chapman and her family, they eliminate the hose altogether. We have a garden in the backyard, but what we do is we collect water from the rain. So we're collecting the rainwater. And then the kids come over, my husband, and they just water each individual plant. We don't water a lot, but enough. The city is doing everything it can to incentivize more people to save that precious water. Now, you might have your bracket ready to go for March Madness, but the city is calling this month Mulch Madness. For a list of areas where you can get your free mulch, you can go onto our website, keyt.com. And remember, that mulch can help save water in your yard. Live in Santa Barbara, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3. Okay, nice connection. Thank you, Tori. We